If you're new at selling final expense life insurance, or if you're considering whether you should even get into this industry or not, this video is absolutely for you. Final expense sales is one of the most lucrative industries in our nation for the right person. Now, for the wrong person, it can be a complete waste of time and money and will simply end up being that next step to the next big thing that also ends up being nothing. All of this and more coming right up, so stick around. I'm Douglas Massey, and thankfully, final expense sales is the easiest industry that I have ever worked in. It's one of the few businesses where you can just literally go down the street door to door and make a six figure income while selling to people off of a list of names. Since most people are just incapable of being a professional salesperson, the last thing that they're going to do is start knocking on doors. Before we get into the daily activities of a professional final expense life insurance agent, I'm going to ask that you please subscribe to our channel and then ring the little bell looking thing that's down there next to the subscribe button so that you're actually notified each time that we put out a true final expense sales training video. Also, I'd appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up right now so that we know you're actually watching. And if you'd like a copy of the guarantees of whole life insurance, just stick around till the end of the video and what I'll do is I'll show you how to get a copy for yourself. You're going to want to laminate this and use it during all of your presentations as it's just a really awesome way to show your clients exactly what you're selling compared to all that stuff that they're getting in the mail and the stuff that they're seeing on TV. The hardest way to sell final expense is through cold canvassing. Going door to door is something that very few people can do. That's why I work leads, all of the agents on our sales team works leads, and all the top producers across the nation work leads. Not just leads, but final expense direct mail leads. So right off the bat, if you don't have at least two to $3,000 set aside for your marketing, otherwise known as final expense direct mail leads, forget it you're already off to a bad start and will most likely fail out of the industry. If you've never had to sell something to someone who had no intentions of buying and you think you're going to be successful in our industry, forget it, man. Probably not going to happen. Half the sales that we make come from people who are not really thinking that they're going to go and buy anything. Our market is mainly tire kickers that have pretty much gone their whole lives without being responsible for their own final expenses. You'll have to work really hard and make lots and lots of presentations just to develop the skill set that a talented sales professional has. Once you've developed this skill set that I'm talking about and are good at building rapport, overcoming objections, and closing sales, you can start to reap the rewards, the financial rewards of final expense sales. Most successful final expense agents take their leads and just go bang on the prospect's door. You're going to need to get good at talking your way into the house so that you can make your presentation. Most new agents that are working on their own, trying to figure out on their own, can't even get past the front door. And the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, well, the leads are bad. That's why you need access to training along with a sales program that is totally designed to be as mildly intrusive as possible. You'll want to smoothly work your way into the door, make your presentation, and close the sale over and over and over again. It's also important to have the right insurance carrier products and high quality direct mail leads every single week. You're going to need to go back to a lot of these folks, a lot of your clients, uh, to get amendments signed, to save cancellations, to help them update their checking, and even change their beneficiaries. And you'll be doing this on a regular basis. Very important. Always deliver all your policies. That way you can get referrals and go out and make more presentations and more sales. Remember guys, the easy part of our industry is making the actual sale. That's when the work begins. Now, once you've gotten good at taking the leads to the prospect's house and talking your way in the door, 
that's when you're going to want to start considering learning how to call and set appointments first. Now, calling is secondary as far as I'm concerned, as this is yet another skill set that does take time to develop. If you're brand new and you think you're just going to call and make a bunch of appointments and everybody's going to want to buy insurance from you, you're, you're probably pretty wrong. The other day I got an email from an agent that wanted to work with us. In the email, and this is what he said, he had told me that he was planning on selling final expense on a part-time basis. And here's where it kind of gets interesting. He plans on using an appointment setter right from the start. So let me just say, if you're just getting into this business and you think you're going to skip the whole knocking on doors part and skip the whole learning how to set appointments part and just hire someone that's going to work really, really hard at doing what you're not willing to do, forget it. Dude, save yourself a lot of trouble. Go do something else. Final expense sales is definitely not for most people. Now, on the other hand, if you're willing to work your way up from the bottom and gradually, and this is how it'll work, you'll be able to, as you get better, increase your weekly direct mail leads to the point to where you're getting like 40 or 50 leads every single week, then using an appointment setter to help you call the leads makes absolute sense. Just remember, an appointment setter will only dial through the leads maybe a few times a day, and what they're really good at is picking up those low-hanging fruit. So, if they're calling through the leads, and you're calling the leads, working together as a team, you can literally go out a few days each week to your appointments, knock on doors in between appointments, because not everybody's gonna take the appointments, and a lot of those people that don't take the appointments are gonna end up being really good sales, and you can actually make 10 plus sales every single week. The right person with the right work ethic using this type of system will not only be successful at selling final expense insurance, but can actually end up making more money than 90% of the workers in the United States. This is why I believe that there are two kinds of people, sales professionals and people who are not sales professionals. And what's kind of messed up is that most of the people watching this video right now are already in the sales and unfortunately don't even, well, maybe not have the work ethic or the personality to develop the skill set required to be successful at final expense sales, which, like I said, is the easiest type of sale that I have ever done. And I used to sell home improvements, uh, remodeling, um, and when I was first recruited to sell life insurance, I did sell mortgage protection, which was pretty tough selling to professionals and doctors and lawyers, etc. That's why compared to that, final expense sales is stupid easy. And compared to just about anything else that's out there that you can sell, it's pretty simple too. For a copy of the Guarantees of Whole Life Insurance, or for more information on joining our final expense sales team, just shoot me an email at doug at ufesonline.com. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now, get out there and go do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.